Andrew and Olivia Densley had four healthy, happy children. Then their four-year-old son, Cooper, was diagnosed with the fatal genetic illness, Wascott Aldrich syndrome. According to the U.S. National Library of Medicine, Wascott Aldrich syndrome is characterized by abnormal immune function and a reduced ability to form blood clots. Children with the syndrome get extremely sick from common coughs and colds, and normal sports injuries or knocks to the head can lead to fatal bleeding in the brain. Luckily, Cooper's younger brother, Jackson, was an exact genetic match and could provide him with a life-saving bone marrow transplant. Why the Densleys decided to have a sixth child. However, just as the family was recovering from the ordeal, Olivia discovered she was pregnant again. If the baby was a boy, there was a 50% chance he would be born with Wascott Aldrich syndrome. Faced with the possibility that this new baby could also have the fatal syndrome, the Densleys decided to roll the dice and go ahead with the pregnancy. I just felt like surely we wouldn't be that unlucky to get it again, Olivia told 60 Minutes. I just had hope, Fletcher Densley was born on May 19, 2014. Just three weeks later, he was diagnosed with Wascott Aldrich syndrome. It was heartbreaking, Olivia told the program. We know what he's going to go through and I guess I did have a little bit of guilt if we did this to him. It was a bit of a reality of, what did we do? None of his four siblings were a match for a potential bone marrow transplant. That's when Olivia and Andrew decided to have another baby. Their sixth baby will be genetically engineered to be an exact match for little Fletcher. Olivia and Andrew's story has been compared to the Jody Pico book, My Sister's Keeper. The couple will tell their story to 60 Minutes' Tom Steinford on Sunday night and reveal what happened after they made that fateful decision.